like an expression of ourselves that was very organic and I, I, we both thought that was nice for our first show in Paris. We really used a lot of organic textiles, a lot of uh, layered textures, there's tools and everything's so airy and the idea was that nature is kind of over, overgrowing these spaces and um, I think that ended up being one of the main inspirations to incorporate flowers into the hands. It's a very ethereal look that we're doing today on the nail, a very soft, sheer, shimmery pink. Then when you pair it with the nail art that we're doing and the, the live flowers that we're actually putting on the nail, it's gonna be just the right amount of pop. Hair and makeup is, you know, it all interweaves. Instead of using mascara, we used a little dab of silver, it just brightens the eye. The hair, I think, is to be as extravagant and ornate as the clothing. Especially about haute couture is the craftsmanship, the work, the time spent on it, the embroidery, the whole thing. It's another job than ready to wear. I think this was all about silhouettes. Huh? There is a little too much embellishment because it's quite easy. Huh? Uh, and couture has to have a perfect, flawless structure. Beautiful location. I love all the hip hugger um, skirts. They were really amazing. I really loved that. And the fluffy jacket. I thought it was incredibly beautiful. Magnificent. I loved it. I have been fans of Jack and Lazaro's since they started, essentially. But I think this one was really exquisite. And the workmanship, the colors, the shoes, everything. Keeping that kind of one focus on the face, that's so we're just focusing on the eyebrows and the rest of the face is very fresh and luminous. A modern take on the minimalist look, so uh, that's why we're working with the Matsurat. And it's kind of a in-your-face, kind of against the grain, which is why we chose to do a beautiful dark burgundy take the lead for a spring look. 